Britney Spears has recently been all over the news after word broke out about how she was living under conservatorship, and after Britney testified, more details have started to come to light about her fight trying to regain her freedom. She even started a worldwide movement of fans calling for an end to her conservatorship, offering their support, and even going out to the streets to protest against it. However, fans aren't the only ones who have been fighting to free Britney. Her fellow celebrities have also started to use their voices to support Britney, and some of them have revealed some previously unknown details to the public about what Britney has had to endure. So what exactly have the celebrities said about her situation? Let's get right into it. The world was shocked to find out that Britney has been practically living as a slave for the last decade. Halsey was also incredibly distressed when she found out after hearing Britney's heartbreaking court testimony. Halsey quickly took to Twitter to voice her opinion and say that Britney has been abused by the very people who are supposed to protect her. Her tweet read, Bless Britney and I hope with my whole heart she is awarded freedom from this abusive system. She deserves it more than anything. I admire her courage speaking up for herself today. Another celebrity who spoke up was Iggy Azalea. Iggy knows Britney and has even collabed with her in the past. She appeared alongside Britney in the 2015 track Pretty Girls. Iggy fully supported Britney and even backed her claims about her father. She posted a long statement on Twitter where she claims she witnessed Britney's father's abusive behavior. The statement read, It's basic human decency to, at the very least, remove a person Britney has identified as abusive from her life. This should be legal. During the time we worked together in 2015, I personally witnessed the same behavior Britney detailed in regards to her father last week and I just want to back her up and tell the world that she is not exaggerating or lying. I saw her restricted from even the most bizarre and trivial things like how many sodas she was allowed to drink. Why is that even necessary? Her father conveniently waited until literally moments before our VMA's performance when I was backstage in the dressing room and told me if I did not sign an NDA, he would not allow me on stage. The way he went about getting me to sign a contract sounded similar to the tactics Britney spoke about last week in regards to her Las Vegas show. Jamie Spears has a habit of making people sign documents while under duress it seems, and Britney Spears should not be forced to coexist with that man when she's made it clear it is negatively impacting her mental health. This is not right at all. A pop star that couldn't hold back after hearing Britney was being traumatized by her conservatorship is Cher. Britney said on her statement, After I've lied and told the whole world I'm okay and I'm happy, it's a lie. I thought I just maybe I said that enough, maybe I might become happy because I've been in denial. I've been in shock. I am traumatized. So after hearing this, Cher felt the rage inside her which she expressed in the way of several all caps tweets where she wrote, Okay, let's talk about Britney and those people I said long ago. Everyone on the strip heard about her father, didn't know about her conservator acting in concert with her dad, giving her drugs so she could perform, but made sure she couldn't have a life but no one could get to her. She then posted another one which read, saw the absolute power of a conservator has over a person they were meant to protect. It was one of the most excruciating heartbreaking episodes I've been a part of. Don't be fooled by the word conservator. Look at the ways they can be paid. Britney was a prisoner, cash cow, and totally lucid. Cher also went on to speak about her concern that Britney was forced to take drugs and expressed her doubts about Jamie Spears' claims that Britney is not capable of running her own life by herself. She wrote another tweet which read, I have one question. I performed since I was 19 and doing the kind of shows Britney and I do is hard effing work. What drug cocktail did they give her to force her to perform but keep her from having a life? A few times I heard she was zombie-like. She must have been in the living hell. But this isn't even the first time that Cher has gone on Twitter to defend Britney. She also did it back in 2020 when it was announced that Britney's sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, seek to gain full control of Britney's trust fund set for her children. Cher said that Britney was the golden goose of the family and was now being treated like a cash cow. She wrote a tweet that read, She worked hard, was a golden goose, made lots of money, got sick, now she's a cash cow. Does anyone who's making money off her being sick want her well? Someone who doesn't want anything from her should look into her doctor and her meds. Is it a duck? Madonna is another huge celebrity who has joined the list of concerned celebs who have expressed their concern over Britney's conservatorship. She even compared her situation with slavery and said that Britney's basic human rights were taken away from her. Madonna is no stranger to Britney and they have known each other for a very long time. 
They collaborated way back in 2003 in the hit single, Me Against the Music, and both are part of one of the most iconic pop culture moments in recent history, when they shared a kiss during their performance at the 2003 MTV VMAs. So naturally, when Madonna heard Britney's testimony, she took to her social media to speak up against what Britney has been going through. Madonna shared an Instagram story where she is wearing a Britney Spears t-shirt and wrote over it, Give this woman her life back. Slavery was abolished so long ago. Death to the greedy patriarchy that has been doing this to women for centuries. This is a violation of human rights. Britney, we coming to get you out of jail. Another famous pop star who has a very long history with Britney is Christina Aguilera. They met each other while acting as children for Disney's The Mickey Mouse Club and both of them made it into stardom in the late 90s. In fact, they were frequently compared and pitted against each other in the media. But even after this, there has never been any type of competition between them and both have nothing but respect and support for each other. Aguilera proved this by tweeting about Britney and showing her support in a tweet which read, These past few days, I've been thinking about Britney and everything she's going through. It is unacceptable that any woman or human wanting to be in control of their own destiny might not be allowed to live life as they wish. She also attached a throwback photo of her and Britney together as kids. Aguilera went on to write another tweet which read, To be silenced, ignored, bullied, or denied support by those close to you is the most depleting, devastating, and demeaning thing imaginable. The harmful mental and emotional damage this can take on a human spirit is nothing to be taken lightly. She also made some more general statements like this one where she wrote, Every woman must have the right to her own body, her own reproductive system, her own privacy, her own space, her own healing, and her own happiness. She finally closed it off with a tweet which read, To a woman who has worked under conditions and pressure unimaginable to most, I promise you she deserves all the freedom possible to live her happiest life. My heart goes out to Brittany. She deserves all the true love and support in the world. And finally, another celebrity who no one expected would speak up was Britney's ex-boyfriend, Justin Timberlake. In a surprising fashion, Justin has also spoken and showed his support to Britney, slamming her dad and conservators for the treatment they have been giving her. No one was expecting Justin to defend her, given that he had been recently under fire after the release of Framing Britney Spears' documentary, where he is painted in a bad light. But still, Justin came forward and tweeted, After what we saw today, we should all be supporting Britney at this time, regardless of our past, good and bad, and no matter how long ago it was. What's happening to her is just not right. No woman should ever be restricted from making decisions about her own body. He went on and wrote another tweet where he also included his wife and said, Jess and I sent out love and our absolute support to Britney during this time. We hope the courts and her family make this right and let her live however she wants to live. But now I want to know what you think. Do you believe Britney will finally be able to free herself from her conservators after her revelations in the case? Do you think the public support will make some sort of influence on the judge's decision? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and until next time.